morning, everybody. It's good to see you and be here with you. Um, as I get started, I, I wanted to explain, uh, make sure everybody uh, understood um, what a trust fall is. So, uh, some people use it in forms of therapy. Um, some people just do it with groups of friends, um, but it is a moment in which um, one brave person um, folds their hands over their chest and falls backwards, trusting that those around them will catch them. Do we have that kind of trust? Do we have those kinds of friends? Are we one that would catch our friends? This month, um, I worked hard on a sermon for today. Hmm. Best laid plans, right? And then my daughter came along and she recommended that I set it aside. All that meticulous hard work and research. She suggested trusting myself trusting myself a little bit more, trusting my heart a little bit more. So here we go. <laughs> um, when I was little, a small preschooler, kindergartner, um, my siblings were quite a bit older than I am. And um, I had to make up my own games and um, my own toys sometimes. And it turned out that I really like rocks. <laughs> I don't know if that hits a nerve for anybody else, but um, I loved uh, looking at them. I loved sorting them. I loved weighing them. Um, I've like made up games <laughs> with them. Um, I guess I had a pretty good imagination. <laughs> um, but for me, um, even now, uh, rocks, rocks are strong. Most rocks are very stable. Most rocks, to me, are beautiful. Now, as I got a little bit older, I realized that some people can act as the rock in a relationship, changing, able to help one another during the seasons of life. holding steady like a rock, holding steady even during turbulent times and growing strength and wisdom slowly over time, knowing that this inner strength comes to us from God, from God, a gift indeed, a gift indeed. This inner strength to which we refer gives each of us courage, courage, the strength to speak what is true for you, the courage to stand up for wrong, from wrongdoers, the courage to speak your truth, even if it's not necessarily the popular view. It takes courage to trust like that. It takes courage 
to trust in God's plan. It takes a lot of strength of character, tested time and time again, to feel God's presence through the twists and turns of life, knowing, believing that you are being blessed by each and every experience receiving challenges as a gift to grow, knowing that there is a steady constant in God's love, that we have a rich source of unlimited strength when we go within, when our heart becomes one with the Almighty. I might be um, going back a little bit to talk about rocks. They're really on my mind this week. Um, I, I would ask you um, in your experiences, do, do you, any one of you, um, do you remember what a geode is? Um, on the outside, um, it looks just about like any other rock, but when a geode is opened, it is so beautiful. It has a crystalline inside that sparkles like jewels. And just like a geode, each of us have a unique and beautiful gift inside of us. We only need to trust in God, to give us the courage to share our unique gifts with others. Our own view, our experiences can become teachers to others. Within this world, we can help one another. We can share our wisdom, we can accelerate our own learning and perception by sharing our message, our experiences with others so that all may benefit. Just this week, I witnessed how trusting on one's inner strength is important, is invaluable. Our inner strength allows us to be courageous and it can lead to great accomplishments. Through this strength from God and consistently, consistently trusting in a God of good. And here is one example. Our son, Andrew, lives in New York City and had a, landed a really great job at a new startup company. He was recently visiting us here in New Hampshire and he shared that he had changed roles within his company and he was so very excited for the opportunity and the potential and all of the new skills that he had learned. But the day that he returned to work in New York after a vacation, he was informed that due to the inability of a second round for a new startup funding, the company would be laying off 
all of their employees, including him. Now, for some, <laughs> this would be a good time, perhaps, to throw yourself a little pity party, or others might get angry, or others might be fearful, fearful, but not Andrew, <laughs> such a teacher. He has such a sense of courage and such a sense of trust in the, in the future and his ability that he has chosen, he has chosen to welcome this sudden change and think of it as a wonderful sabbatical. <laughs> he, he still has plans uh, to go to France. He had purchased a, picked, uh, a flight for a friend who's getting married there. He's going ahead and uh, participating in that as he had pledged. And then he's going to send some extra time uh, thinking about what direction he wants to go in and then return to New Hampshire to spend some time with us and to share all of his stories. Shortly thereafter, he plans to return to New York and completely faithfully expects to start a whole new work adventure. So I think we need to take a look at this example. How would your minutes, days, and years be better if we had continuous faith in ourselves? If we were able to see beauty and a future that was rich in experience for ourselves, totally trusting in God. I say that takes a lot of trust. Trust in God and say amen is what we often say. May we all learn to trust in God's plan for us and joyfully, faithfully, trustfully saying, Amen. Amen. May all our trust in God lift us up higher each and every day. Amen and amen. And so it is and will be.